Greetings everyone, today I'm super excited to take a look at a very special all-in-one liquid cooler by Enermax. This is the LiquFusion 240. There are a number of things that truly make it stand out from the rest of AIO coolers. For one, it comes with a new more advanced type of RGB lighting, namely addressable RGB or for short ARGB and aesthetics are taken to a whole new level here, also featuring a so-called flow indicator, which not only serves a practical purpose, but is aesthetically pleasing as well. But that's not all that's different from your typical all-in-one cooler. More on that very soon. Right now you could pick this unit up for about 100 to 115 US dollars, which seems reasonable at first glance. But should you get one? Now one thing I find funny is how many cables are included for a CPU cooler nowadays. A couple of years ago all you really needed was a fan splitter cable and that's pretty much it. But with all that shiny RGB we need additional cables. But Enermax is including all kinds of stuff here, such as adapters for the pump for refilling coolant, yes that's correct, this unit can be refilled and 100 milliliters of coolant kindly is included. But do not worry the AIO is already good to go out of the box. The coolant is only for refilling later on down the line. Everything else is the usual stuff like mounting hardware, thermal paste, user manual and whatnot. By the way, we also do get an ARGB controller for systems that don't actually come with any 5 volt addressable RGB headers. We are dealing with a 240mm aluminum radiator here, the usual dimensions and I did notice this screw probably for dealing with air bubbles in the loop. In terms of aesthetics, this has to be like the most beautiful all-in-one liquid cooler I've seen to date. Cooler Master's ML240R comes close, but this one does the RGB a little better, especially on the water block in my opinion. The colors do look great and the LEDs are very bright. And why did I just call the pump water block you ask? Well that's because it is just a water block. The pump in fact now is interconnected with the tubes. That's quite an interesting move, the benefit here is vibration dampening. However, However, not everyone will like having the pump sitting on the tubes, since it could potentially obstruct the view in some cases or lead to clearance issues. But apparently it should be a pretty efficient ceramic pump, sporting a rubber cover to further help against vibration noise. The true highlight to most of us probably is the gorgeous water block with that nice flow indicator. This allows for monitoring the pump's functionality and coolant level. If it stops you know something's wrong and you can refill coolant. The 400mm long rubber tubing is very nicely weaved and the fittings on the water block can be adjusted. A very nice surprise are the fans. They in fact are of exceptionally good quality, also coming with rubber pads. High static pressure, lots of airflow and really not even that loud. All imaginable sockets except for TR4 are also fully supported by this cooler and all in all this sure is one of the nicest liquid coolers I've had the pleasure of testing. But lighting is not everything, so how does the LiquFusion 240 actually perform and stack up against the competition? Well, obviously the Lick Fusion does very well. It's not a cooling beast, so to speak, but it does offer very respectable performance and handles that overclocked i7 CPU remarkably well. The Lick Fusion 240 is about on par with Cooler Master's ML240L and ML240R coolers, as well as Fractal Design Celsius S24. And that's what I honestly consider to be very good. At a price of $100 to $115, that's certainly not too shabby. Price per performance wise the ML240L of course takes the lead, but judging the overall package we're getting, addressable RGB lighting, slightly better build quality and refillable, Enermax's LiquFusion 240 seems to be the real star here in my opinion. The pump is barely audible, the fans are quiet too and only really get audible when they ramp up. Overall I'd say you get a pretty quiet operation with this unit, about on par with the ML240R by Cooler Master. 
So at the end of the day, I gotta say I'm impressed. The only thing that bothers me a little is the visible air bubble in the water block after transportation, which however does go away sooner or later. I'm giving the Enermax Lick Fusion 240 AIO cooler my gold award. It truly deserves it. And with that said, thanks so much for watching everyone.